been in, in my life, unless it's a domestic abuse situation, it's a fucking listen, bitch, I told you, blah, 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 right? Or you're being grabbed and you're being pulled, but the, just the person who just does this so that you can do this or whatever, that's modifying reality to fit your system. You're creating attacks that don't exist. You're creating defenses to things that don't happen frequently. And your defenses aren't based or grounded on anything real. And 99% of the time you ask these people, do you defend people in the defense against the strangulation? Yes, we do. That's great. Have you ever been strangled in real life and used successfully what you teach your people to defend against? No. So what the fuck gives you the right to teach people how to defend yourself against the strangulation if you've never been strangled? If you don't know the physiological, biological changes that occur in your body when somebody's trying to snuff your fucking life out of you? And then you're t you don't. So basically you're teaching theory. And how do you know? Well, my teacher told me. And how does he know? Well, his teacher told him. And so you've got a fucking long line of blah, 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 blah. And in the end, it's just talk. And in the end, what's real and what's not? And the only way you're going to know is if you pressure test undergrounded reality with the understanding of the variables that come into play, not just the physicality of the move. A grab is not just a grab. Who's grabbing you and why? Is it a pissed off waitress who mistook you for the asshole who just pinched her ass and she's having a shitty day and she's like, look, look, asshole, I've had it up to here with fucking jerks like you and you're not really the guy who pinched her? Or is it a six foot four biker that you just bumped and knocked his drink who's fucking pissed off and he's got you pinned against the wall? Six of his friends are standing over there with blades going, save me a piece, right? It's still a wrist grab, you're still being pinned, but it, it's completely different. The intention, the attack, it's still the move. So it's not about the move. It's about the individual, the situation, the reason behind the move, the intention behind the move, what this person wants, because a wrist grab is a wrist grab. But a waitress doing it and a six foot five, four biker doing it for two different completely different reasons changes the dynamics. And if you add different factors, like his girlfriend is standing right here, well, that changes the whole dynamic too. If I had a friend who was here, let's say my friend doesn't have a knife, or I put him here and he has a knife, or I say you're at the edge of the Grand Canyon here, or there's a street and cars are coming, all that changes everything about this particular move. So it's never about the move. The move is incidental. Does that make sense? Cool. Any questions?